for sure. Mm -hmm. to, to prove it. US, please be more friendly on travel loss. All right, we got B and Panty. Okay. So we got Mario Brothers in here, but it's not the one that you usually see. Dr. Mario coming to the fray right now. <laughs> Dr. Mario versus Luigi. A little bit of a family feud. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's generally accepted that Luigi beats Mario, yeah, I believe. But then, and then Dr. Mario's like the worst version of him, <laughs> it, like people like to say. So we'll see how this matchup goes. I can't pretend like I know anything about this matchup. Yeah, well, we can we can watch the neutral and, and see what what they're doing. As far as we we've seen, like Luigi's pretty much dominant, catching up those landings, and making it really hard for for B to come back. Yeah, P tried to get something with that jab, but the force smash is gonna eat right through it. It's gonna be up a stock right now. Not finding his footing quite yet. But Dr. Mario does hit pretty hard, so we'll see. That's a little bit of the, the, the difference between Mario and, and Dr. Yeah, Dr. Mario definitely does hit like a truck, but it does not matter if you're gonna get comboed like this right now. 47% on the block. Yeah, that's. I mean, you hailing from SoCal, you're very familiar with those Luigi combos or, or even crazier ones. <laughs> of course, yeah. Right now, trying to figure out his way back to the ledge. Fireball in the cape, working out just a little bit, but just jabs right out of it. All right, plowing through that uh, little fireball with the backer. Staying on the platform is Panty. Yeah, he tried to follow the Smashable platform's path to try and edge guard Panty a little bit more, but with that platform, Panty was able to make it back. And there Tornado. it is. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> If there's one thing I think we can all agree on is that Dr. Mario has a pretty horrible recovery. <laughs> That's, I, I agree with you 100%. Yeah, so Luigi is going to be able to exploit that because there's only there's only so many angles that Dr. Mario will be able to do. Yeah, I think that he didn't even need that uh, the Flutter Hush. Like, he could, he could have done just an aerial or something and trade, maybe, and, yeah. and get that stock. But hey, if it gets you the kill, then it's all good anyway. We're going to go into FD right now for this second game. So there's not going to be a character switch, and after such a commanding first game, I don't know if it was the right choice. Maybe he's a tried and true Mar uh, Dr. Mario main. Yeah. Already 39% on the block, though. Already looking a lot better, but let's see what this Luigi combo is going to bring. Pretty much evening up the percents right there <laughs> off of one grab, and it's still going, actually. Reminds me a lot of Bayo combos, how, they, how she takes you just from one conversion to, like, 70%. Oh, oh my god. That is just... Oh, talk, talk about. What a punish right there <laughs> from Banti. Using the Shoryuken, and I think there was no better punish there than that move right there. Ton of knockback. Yeah, yeah pretty, pretty optimal, pretty optimal. Yep. And I was about to say, is like when you're fighting Luigi, it's like one of those characters where it's like you think you're even, and then all of a sudden you're like at 90% and you're eating a Shoryu, and that exactly <laughs> happened right there. Yes. He trying to get something to happen though. A little bit of clairvoyance right there. There's another back air. Monty still trying to find his first stock in set. Oh, I think if there's any situation you're going to want to try and challenge Luigi on a recovery, it's at definitely after that side B. Also, we see Panty go for a lot of, I mean, P go for a lot of baits. But since Panty's not really scared of going in or anything like that, he hasn't been falling for it. Yeah. Finally, the Smash will be able to take it. 93% is still possible, but Luigi has a lot of kill potential, so let's see if he can try to make something happen. <laughs> that cape at least getting a little bit of damage and positional pressure. Ah, oh, just runs in there, baits the shield with the fireball. He tries to bait out an air dodge, but if P responded with that neutral air. The up smash not quite coming through for Panty, so he's going to be living a little bit longer. I, th I thought we were going to see some of those jab mix-ups that Luigi Mains uh, generally used to do on, on shields, like mm -hmm. going for the Shoryuken afterwards. Right. And surprised also that he didn't go for the edge guard, since we saw that he's pretty proficient at it last game, but... There it is, the up smash caught P doing uh, quite a few empty hops, actually, and so he was able to punish that with the right move, and Panty's going to be going Moving on into the winner's bracket. 2-0. So pretty convincing as well. Mm -hmm. like, uh, as, as you were saying, those those anti-aerials really pay dividends for him. Yeah. And also, abusing the fact that uh, well, Dr. Mark doesn't really have the best landing options. Mm -hmm. 
So he was able, definitely able to catch that. And the big thing, too, I think, is that most of the time his punish game was just a lot better than Peace. <laughs> yeah, like, that's right. But that's the nature of the Luigi and that's the nature of Dr. Mario. I don't see a lot of like crazy combos that Dr. Mario has. It's mostly like get grab, get like one back air, and then... Yeah, a ton of neutral resets, a ton of situations that are forced through maybe a little bit of not knowing the matchup from the other player. Mm -hmm. And, and then when you start getting the high percents and you get the down throw 50-50, but we weren't able to, I don't think he was even in a position to be able to use that 50-50 where it would kill, so. Yeah, he, we saw that the only stock he, he took that entire set was from an up smash. Yeah. And that took a lot of conditioning to do so. Mm -hmm. That was like, that up smash was killed him at like around 150 or so, so that was definitely a really, really late kill. Our next two players are already oh, on the stream. and I do know these guys. We <laughs> oh yeah, one of them is like, I don't know, maybe like, I think he's like top two or something in the world. He, he <laughs> might be. Yeah, he I, might. I, I don't know. <laughs> I think I've seen him before. Yeah, it's, it's like, all right, it's MK Leo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, right. the other one is from uh, Querétaro. Querétaro? That's Did right. Did I say it right? Okay. It's like uh, on the central area, a little bit north of Mexico City. Oh, okay. Uh, he's Pineda. Uh, he, usually he plays Cloud. I don't know if he's going to go for for Cloud in this matchup. Okay. Since, since Leo, uh, well, I don't want to say he sandbags on, on Mexican tournaments or anything like that. He he likes trying out a lot of characters. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he'll go for the Ditto or if Pineda requested it. Okay. We'll see what happens. So I know Leo.